Honorable Speaker, we will only secure the economy for future generations if we make sure that we nurture the growing manufacturing sector in our economy, Honorable Speaker, vis-a-vis -vis in exporting jobs to other countries, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the finance every year that we pass a finance act in this house, it has a three or two-fold objective, Honorable Speaker. Top among them, other than re revenue, is also to ensure, Honorable Speaker, that we create jobs within our economy for us to be able to expand our tax base. So that, Honorable Speaker, those of us who feel overburdened, especially the working class in this country, because we are paying taxes and very many other non-taxpayers non or Kenyans who are not paying taxes are depending on us to ensure that we are able to create jobs create more income earners who can pay taxes so that we share the burden of taxation more evenly and more fairly, Honorable Speaker. And that is part of the prime objective of this Finance Act of 2024, to ensure that we raise revenue, we protect our manufacturing sector, Honorable Speaker, we create jobs, and more importantly, Honorable Speaker, we deliver services to the people of Kenya, Honorable Speaker. I am glad, as the President said yesterday, Honorable Speaker, that the conversation in this country now has changed. We are no longer yes, debating Babo, in this house. Order, Honorable Speaker, Ijiba. these interjections, yes, I, I find them unnecessary. Order, I think yes, Babu, Babu Wino thinks we are outside the uh, central police station. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we cannot sit here. What standing order are you on? 91. 91. Honorable Speaker, why is it that it's, all, it's only my standing orders that you are confirming, Honorable Speaker? The rest you are giving. <laughs> Baba Wino, everybody has been subjected to the same treatment. What I want to say is very important and urgent, Honorable Speaker. Yes. <laughs> yes, what is out of order? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I've heard the submissions made by Honorable, Kim, uh, Honorable Ichungwa, and I want to say that at first, I thought that they were important and detailed. But I've just realized that the important parts are not detailed and the detailed parts are not important. He's, he's talking about manufacturing. Honorable Speaker, I want to educate Honorable What Ichungwa. is out of order? This is where I'm coming to. You are pursuing a counter argument. This is where I'm coming to, Honorable Speaker, on matters economics. Because Honorable Ichungwa is claiming that if we increase taxes for imports. It, that is what he's saying, that if we increase taxes for imports, imported goods, then we will give an opportunity for industries, local industries to grow, which literally, debate now. which literally is normally true. But in our situation as a country, Honorable Speaker, we are going to promote what we call foreign absorption, where Money is going to leak from uh, uh, order, Baba Honorable Wino. Order, Honorable Baba Wino. Order, take your seat. Order, Honorable Baba Wino. When you get sit, take your seat. You are pursuing a very healthy argument, but it's very far from a point of order. When you are given an opportunity, pursue that argument and convince your colleagues. When you stand on a point of order. Ordinarily, you start this way, Mr. Speaker. Is it in order for the member on the floor to say this and this and this, when in fact the fact are this and this, or contrary to this standing order? You've shot up on my permission, and you're pursuing a very healthy argument on the bill that has no relationship with what the member on the floor was saying, because that is your argument, that's his argument. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for that guidance and protection. Honorable Speaker, I was saying many of the amendments that have been proposed by the Finance Committee in a big way cure the numerous concerns that Kenyans had over this finance bill. And therefore, that's why I want to plead with this Honorable House, let us do what is right. I know there are those who are tempted to do that which is popular. It is very popular to join street demonstrations, to be seen as a hero rescuing people from police stations when they are arrested out of whatever they are arrested on in the streets. 
But as a leader, 